Hello, my name's Marcel. I'm the author of The Hey Presto Piano Method, um, and I've just finished a new book, which follows on directly really from that, called The Away From The Grade. The Away From The Grade is going to be in three books. This is book one, and this covers grades one to three, um, the UK grade system. Um, so this is just beyond beginner now, getting towards the intermediate, and there will be, uh, in the intermediate will be book two, and then there'll be an advanced uh, and, and repertoire book or, or for with, with recital pieces in it as well. <clears throat> and that will be book three. The Away From The Grade book one, beautifully illustrated by artist Kay McGowan with a foreword from fellow composer Alison Matthews. Now these pieces in here are graded from one to three. It's a mixture of styles, again, similar to Hey Presto, but these are a little bit more advanced now, moving on from there. Um, it's not structured in this, exactly the same way as a method book would be. This is moving on from there now. Um, there's a description uh, before each piece of the techniques that may be useful um, to you with fingering suggestions, uh, as well as pedaling suggestions uh, and, and technical uh, solutions that you may want to use, such as the wrist circles, um, weight transfer, uh, and those kinds of things. And that's before each piece of music there'll be a short description on what kind of things will help with technicality and musicality. Right, if we get into the music now, uh, the first piece is called Memories, and the second piece is your song, which was in the Hey Presto Piano Method. Now, of the 10 pieces we've got in this book, two of them are from Hey Presto. The first two are, however, more of a popular sounding uh, style, such as the Your Song from, uh, from Hey Presto. Here is Memories. Okay, that was Memories. Um, as you can see, it's a bit more of a popular kind of style. Um, we will go into many other different styles, as I've said before. Um, memories um, uses techniques such as wrist rotation, and there's a full description here. Um, before the piece, you'll have the details about memories and suggestions on what you might use to help you to play the piece, uh, and then um, the piece itself. So at the beginning, there's a note about the fingering, um, and then underneath that, with, with examples, and then underneath that, we have a section on technique. This section on technique um, describes the, yeah, the, the method of wrist rotation, which you will know from the Hey Presto Piano, uh, piano Method, which, which is used throughout there. And simply, we do have this rotational movement in the left hand. Which is that movement there, um, which you would have probably practiced Lots and lots and lots. So this is much consolidating um, what you would have learned from the Hey Presto Piano method. And throughout the whole book, it's done in the same way. You've got a description of the music, and then for this one, it's a soldier's song. Description and examples, perhaps of fingering, um, and then a bit of the sustained pedal use here, and then a soldier's song, the sheet music on the other side. Okay, so let's go back to your song.
some fingering suggestions in there, but also you can see there's rotation in the right hand and uh, in the left hand as well. Um, if we move on to the next piece, a soldier's song, again, as I said before, we've got the description there and then the music. Um, there is quite a bit more of a description on how to use the pedal here. Um, and because we may be using it more than once per, per bar, which is where we're moving to. Um, I think with the hey presto method, we were just using pedal at the maximum of once per bar. Now it's going to need a lot more careful attention, possibly swapping, uh, changing um, on the individual crotchets or, uh, or at least twice per bar. This is Homecoming, which is again great too, but it's um, a bit more of a me melody and accompaniment in style and very much more classical in, in feel. Momentum here is definitely one that's been one of the most popular ones in the in the Hey Presto Piano method, and so I really wanted to include it here. Um, here it is again. So this is really working your wrist circles. You can see there's quite a lot involved here. With firm fingers as well. We're getting lots of dynamic ranges in here, really from very softly. And real good practice at staccato playing. Um, I know Hey Presto is really based around getting you to use the pedal, um, but there are some good staccato or the uh, pieces with detached playing and momentum is one of those. Um, so really getting that as short as possible in the uh, in all the staccato detached notes um, one trick i do at the end of uh, the second line in this piece uh, where it says we crescendo up to an f um, at the double bar line and at this point um, it's mf and then a few bars later it's crescendo again to forte which is the loudest part of the piece at the mf is where i actually come down again to um, mp uh, get a little bit softer there, really to make uh, an exaggeration of this uh, this crescendo that happens a few bars later, and then it makes it a lot more effective. And this is a technique that you can possibly use, not all the time, but with with uh, other pieces as well. 
Um, here's and here is, I'll start from the fourth bar, and then as I'm crescendoing up to the MF, you'll hear me just take away um, uh, the dynamic level at, uh, at that bar um, just before the next crescendo. Okay, so moving on, that was Momentum. Next we have Night Riders, which is a bit of a jokey kind of piece, really. Um, I usually end up laughing, especially before the last chord, um, which I'll not do today. Here is Night Riders. Again, it's a similar detached, uh, in a detached way as uh, Momentum. As you could, uh, if, if you've ever uh, seen the series Night Riders, you can feel that the rhythm is fairly similar there. Right, next is probably one of my favourite pieces in the book. Um, this and the following one. These are really good grade three preparation pieces. Next piece is Dreaming. Um, this is very much in preparation for grade three now. This and the next piece. And these are my, these probably my two favourite ones here. Probably this just takes it. Um, it's uh, got a lot of technique in here, a lot of phrasing required, slurs need to be really done in the right way, we've got a 6-8 time here um, and the slurs are crotchet and then quaver, so the quaver's got to be um, really executed um, properly, usually the end of a slur is, is softer isn't it, um, and so that needs to be done well here to get the feeling uh, of the slur. Phrasing, very important, it's melody and accompaniment over a circular left hand, so circular movement all the way through in the left hand. Um, all the details of the technicality is exactly the same way as before, so you've got a page of um, uh, suggestion um, and uh, the piece on the following page. Right, dreaming. Very similar. It's now in the we're now in the minor, and we've got um, again phrasing slurs um, as well as um, a, a rocking left hand. So we're really looking at tone production um, over um, an accompaniment.
once you've started to be able to get really a good understanding of the two techniques, rotation and wrist circles, you can use them within uh, a normal slower uh, musical line or musical phrase. Um, here I can use uh, circles. That's kind of a circular movement coming up the keyboard um, in a four or five note scale, even three notes, um, or, um, or, or I could use finger independence, um, or use obviously a combination, less finger independence, but a bit more of a circle there. Um, here in particular, I could use, um, in a third bar, I could use rotation, dropping onto the note, rotating over, and rotating over again, which I like to do here. And you can get a clear, nice ringing sound using the wrist uh, and, and arm weight, I suppose, to, to, to give it some depth and some ring into the melody. Here, it's a bit of a circle over with the three notes going down. So the circle now is going in an anti-clockwise direction. Now back. So that is all a circular motion there, really. So remembering right hand is always going to go anti-clockwise. And then we have the slurs here, which are offbeat. And so they've got to, although this piece is nothing really loud or heavy in this, um, the slurs do have to be heard, the first note especially here. Um, and, and we're contrasting that against this. Feel the beat here, but we need we want to feel the the, the two parts um, syncopated in a way. Um, here it is again, the whole piece. I think it's a good time to introduce the thumb going under, the thumb turning under technique. Um, and so I haven't given too much description, but there's a whole page on there with a little exercise to, just to help you to get the thumb moving under in the right way. Um, and this exercise is quite simple and then it's, then it's developed further in the book. Um, the first little exercise is, uh, is in the right hand and then the equivalent one in the left, where you start on a C. Play one, two, and then the third note in the scale, we just play that with the thumb, and then we go back down. So it's a three note scale up and down and repeated, but we're using the thumb. And so it's a useful time to try and get some of this technique of moving the thumb as we're starting to do more and more scaly things within the pieces um, uh, around the grade one level getting the thumb under one, two, one, a little bit later is extended. Um, <clears throat> and then following that, we have 
uh, the next piece description here, which is um, the next piece is a jazzy piece called Fit of the Stunt. Okay, so I'm going to go straight in. standard you can see it's really much being much more developed we've got two contrasting two contrasting ideas there you've got the stump and the more legato idea the real contrast there uh, and quite a lot of fun the next piece is also a jazzy piece and it's called just jazzing or for fun really uh, for in between the grades um, it'd be good to know hear, hear your thoughts on what you think of the music um, and also the technical for the ones that do have um, copies of this have used them with their students to hear what you think about the te technical uh, notes that are written before each piece as well would be really great so any feedback uh, would be greatly um, appreciated um, and that's it thank you very much for listening and I hope you enjoy the new pieces. <laughs>